Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So one of the benefits of having your YouTube watch history turned on is that it enables the YouTube platform to provide you with video recommendations that you may be interested in to watch on your homepage. Now, in regards to um, your watch history on the YouTube platform and your site recommendations on your homepage, on the 8th of August, which was yesterday in my region, YouTube has announced um, a change that's coming to the recommended um, videos you see on your homepage. And because you are watching this um, on YouTube, I thought just to give you a quick heads up. Now, YouTube has said that starting on the 8th of August, if you have YouTube watch history off, so if you've turned off your watch history and have no significant prior watch history features that require watch history to provide video recommendations will be disabled like your youtube home feed as mentioned this means that starting um, on the 8th of august your home feed may look a lot different says youtube you'll be able to see the search bar so if we head back to our home feed if your watch history is turned off and those recommendations disappear you'll see the search bar at the top and the left hand guard menu here that's all you're going to see and then you'll get a notice saying that obviously your um, watch history is off and you need to turn it on to get recommendations. So that's the change that's taking place. And uh, there will be no feed of recommended videos um, basically, and that's the whole gist of what this announcement is all about. Now, um, YouTube has said that these changes are rolling out slowly over the next few months. Now, I haven't seen those changes yet, um, but just letting you know and giving you a heads up like we like to do on the channel. Now, the whole reason for YouTube bringing in this change, they say that we are launching this new experience to make it more clear which YouTube features rely on watch history to provide video recommendations, and I'm quoting this, and make it more streamlined for those of you who prefer to search rather than browse recommendations. So that's the whole gist of why um, YouTube has made this announcement that if you are now turning off your watch history, um, you will not see those recommendations now on your home page. Now, just on a side note, in case you are unaware where to turn your watch history for YouTube on and off, it's actually quite simple to do. You head to your Google account relevant to obviously the account that you are signed into YouTube with. You head over to your data and privacy section. You scroll down to where it says history settings. And here you'll see YouTube history. As you can see, mine is turned on. Click on that. And here you'll have the option to turn off your watch history for your YouTube platform with the relevant account that you are signed in with. So that's just a quick quick overview of how you can actually turn your watch history on and off. But nonetheless, just letting you know about that. And as mentioned, if you turn off your watch history now, rolling out over the next couple of months, YouTube says that you will not see any re recommendations on your homepage. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.